Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanna ask for a little video opinion. Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I was actually thinking of doing like this little dating series. So if you don't know, my good friend Alyssa Mikesa, which is actually Brock, Brock's sister, did a little dating series. It was like five dates in five days. Okay, mine's a little different. I'm not gonna go on five dates. Sorry, I have a boyfriend. But Brock and I were actually thinking of maybe doing like a five date ideas or something like that. I don't know, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll just read some of your guys' opinions. <laughs> okay, now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Look who I have here. What's up guys? Brock is here. Yeah. <laughs> Brian early, just joking, it's 1.30. So, let me explain how I got this date idea because it is so good and I thought I'd share it with you guys, especially just the people who are starting to date or need some more date things to do. Because honestly, when you think about dates, it's like, okay, should we just do a movie and dinner? Should we just chill and go to dinner? Like, you know, you know, you just... It makes the date more complex and fun. Yeah, so it... Wait, what? It makes the date more complex and fun. Like, you do like different things. Yeah, so you want you want to do like different things, right? You have a big variety. Mm-hmm. So I went to this class, this little conference thing that I went to over the weekend. In the category, there's four classes you can choose from. So CPR, painting, yoga, like those kind of things. So in this one category, I can't remember what it's called, one of the classes that I saw and I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be so fun to do, was 99 Date Ideas. Guys, I got a huge paper of just 99 date ideas. Like, it's crazy. I did not know there was such thing as 99 dates that you could do. And they're really creative. <laughs> Yes, I don't I think. My own world. <laughs> I was doing. So, okay, I'm gonna show you the paper just because I I know you guys will probably want to see it. So if you want, take a picture of it. Pause the uh, computer or whatever you're watching on. Here's the first paper. Okay, so now that you saw all the pictures, um, I wanted to tell you what our date is for today. So this is actually date 16. So it is Tibble Fork paddleboarding. So if you don't know what Tibble Fork is, if you don't live in Utah, it's basically just a lake up in the canyon. Okay, we don't have a paddleboard, so guess what we're doing? We're gonna go buy one. We're gonna go buy one right now, right now. I'm so excited. And then after it just says bring a portable campfire and roast hot dogs and s'mores. But we're gonna change it up a little bit and we're gonna go to Harmon's or like a grocery store and get some Lunchables. Just so we can do like a little picnic. So that's our little date today. Also, I just wanted to say some of the other ones that I really wanna do sometime is visit the aquarium. Okay, we have to do that, guys. And then it says eat seafood. I'm not a big fan of seafood, so we probably just go somewhere else. And then you finish up by watching Finding Nemo. And then an another one that I wanna do is Shark Attack, which is watch Jaws while floating in a swimming pool. And then, again, eat like fish and things. I don't, I'd rather eat something else, but. Yeah, so you watch a movie while floating in the, s like you watch Jaws while floating in the swimming pool, so. <laughs> I think that'd be super fun. Be Anyways, one date at a time. We're doing paddle boarding today. I've been wanting to get a paddle board for so long, so I'm excited. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we went to a Walmart. It's a little bit of a smaller Walmart than a regular, like, super center Walmart. So we couldn't find a paddle board, so we're actually going to a super center. But while we were there, we found this neon volley volleyball and I don't know I've been so into volleyball lately so we got it just for fun I don't know it looks super fun are you excited for that oh yeah I'm so hyped yeah so we're just looking up some places to find paddle boards we got some good ideas but we're gonna try the super center really fast so let's do that he's calling right now to ask if Cabela's has a paddle board because we have a Cabela's near us so and it sounds like they do but we're not quite sure is that right? Yep. <laughs> Guys, look what we got. We found one. Oh, Rock yeah. sitting in the back. We got it pretty secure in like the car, but he's just making sure and he's also holding the paddle board. So yeah. Okay, guys, let's go back home, show my parents, also get Brooks kayak, and then we'll head up to Tipple Fort. 
let's go. Okay, so I forgot to update you guys. I am now in the Tahoe, my mom's Tahoe, because my Jeep was a little small for this. It was pretty scary driving home with this in my Jeep. Like, I could still see and everything. It's just the doors were off, so it was scary. And then we have Brock's canoe or kayak or whatever it's called back there. And then we have the volleyball here. And Brock was so prepared. He brought some towels, some snacks, some water bottles. So oh, I'm yeah. proud of you. Wow, I, I'm like so unprepared about this. But anyways, we're at the grocery store and Brock's gonna hurry and run in and get some two Lunchables, just two Lunchables. We like the nacho ones. Those are the best. That's so good, they're superior. Yeah, so we're just gonna have that as like a little picnic and then I'm gonna hurry and go through this Swift drive through and just get him and I a little drink. So yeah, and then we'll head up, up to the canyon. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jinx. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm here at Swig, and I'm just going to get a Raspberry Dream. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty easy to make. You guys can make it at home. It's just Dr. Pepper, coconut cream, and a raspberry puree. So it's pretty good, it's pretty easy to make. And then um, Brock just got a light lemonade, so getting that for him. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be good. Guys, we're here at Tip of Fork. Look how pretty it is. I actually love the water. The look of this is so gorgeous. I want to take pictures like super bad. Me too. Be safe. Look how pretty it is. Anyways, we changed our minds. So at first we thought, okay, let's just go in the water and then eat. But we're starving, so we're gonna eat now. We're starting to open, open up our Lunchables. We're just gonna eat in here really fast. And then actually, so there's a lot of people here. A lot of people are out. So the water's probably freezing. But if you look all the way like down there, there are a ton of people kayaking and like paddle boarding. So I think we're good. It, it's definitely gonna be cold, but because, oh, this is water from the mountains. Runoff. And if you guys know Utah, you can even see snow right there still. So yeah, it's definitely freezing. So, yeah. But look how pretty the mountains were. Oh my gosh. This is actually where I took my 17th birthday pictures with like the balloons. Look at the pretty mountains. I love it out here. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah. Lunch day. <laughs> With an eight. <laughs> okay, so funny story. While we're here, we see Taylor Shumway. So that's that was pretty funny. And all her sisters, they're down here and they're camping out. Um, Brock grabbed his canoe, and now we're gonna grab my paddleboard. The new paddleboard. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Guys, I forgot my GoPro, so I'm not gonna be able to vlog on the water. I was thinking about bringing my phone, but if I fall in then I'm dead me. So, you know what? We're just gonna have fun. Uh, maybe I'll come grab my camera then and there. I just don't wanna drop it in, so. Yeah, anyways, let me hurry and help Brock because <laughs> it's a little big Okay, so we got this stuff out. I'm gonna check if it is cold. It's most definitely gonna be cold, but. Oh, guys, oh wait, actually, it's not bad. It's just definitely shocking. It's like that water that shocks you. When you get in, because it's so cold. Yeah, it's pretty cold, actually. Well, let's just try not to fall in, because it's pretty cold. <laughs> okay? Okay. Please don't push me in. I won't. Okay, so we tried getting on, but it didn't work for both of us. So now, time to split the kayaks. Hopefully this works, and hopefully we can get some great footage. Okay, oh, see ya. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so I decided to come back and grab my phone, because you honestly don't get wet at all. I mean, a little bit, but not bad. Okay, funny story, Brock starts tipping, and I'm just sitting there I laughing know. at him. It was so funny. We were all the way over there, and Brock was a little bit in front of me, and it looked so cute, like this big, like this cute picture idea. So, we're gonna go take pictures. Stay tuned for like Instagram posts, maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a fun day. Look at guys, now it's sunny all of a sudden after we're leaving. We took some pictures. I think I'm gonna post some of them. Yeah. You're a good photographer. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, it's but, so beautiful on the water. No, oh, thank you. It's super cute. Um, but we're gonna go home now. Well, just to my house and then probably just kinda 
dry off, I guess. And then I think we're all gonna go over to my friend's house because he invited us to go and hang out and play spike ball and stuff like that. But I don't know if we're gonna do that yet for sure or whatever. So, but was today fun? Yeah, it was great. I loved it. It was super fun. And outside is so pretty here. I just love the trees, so it's amazing. Okay, so Brock had to leave. We literally get out of the canyon and um, his mom calls me and he's like, hey, Brock needs to come home and like do this like suit fitting. He's gonna be here in like 10 minutes. I was like, oh shoot. Literally it takes us 10 minutes to get home. And then like, oh my gosh, it was so bad. Luckily he made it. Well, he's he just left, but he's gonna be a little late. So now I gotta do this. We're gonna do it. Girl power, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so Brock is back. <laughs> He's coming up right now. And I'm just gonna wait until he walks in. What's up? Where's Gus? Oh, you scared me, dude. I was like, so where's Gus? Where's Gus? How was your little drive back home? It was great. Man, that was really fast. Yeah, I was only there for like nine minutes. I got there at 6.30. <laughs> you counted nine minutes? Yeah. <laughs> and then I was, I was like on the way home, on, on the way here. Call it best home, but. Aww. Oh, what no, I was here. Oh, he's wisdom teeth. I gotta see the flash. It's gross. He has a hole in his mouth. I saw it. He does? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna show it because it's oh, gross. Do you see it? It's probably healed by, by now, actually. Yeah, I'm up there by cancer. Oh, are you excited to get your wisdom teeth out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll come with that. I know. I, it's gonna be a while though, <laughs> so don't get too excited. You look good. Thanks. I mean, you were wearing what you were wearing before, but you look good. Thank you. I missed you. I missed you too. Boyfriend! Guys, here's my ringtone. Hey, it's your boyfriend. Yeah, it's your boyfriend. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Okay. <gasps> Why is it so dark? Because I'm about to go to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. What's up? Well, I just wanted to call you. How did you like tonight? It was awesome. Probably one of my favorite days ever. Oh, it was so fun. It was a blast. Yeah, guys, paddleboarding was so fun. All the things we did with my um, friends, we just played spike ball and then we played Vo well, kind of volleyball with my with our new volleyball that we got from Walmart, <laughs> and then um, we watched Loki or something. Guys, I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm sorry. I, I ignore my messy room. But well, I shouldn't say I'm not a Marvel fan. I've just never watched Marvel. But yeah, anyways, neither has Brock. So count it. <laughs> yeah. It's Interesting, I'd say. That's what I'd say. Oh, yeah, for sure. It was really cool, though. I kind of want to start watching Marvel, but I don't know. So, basically, all we did was, yeah, just do that. And then after, we went to this church, and inside we played chair soccer. But Brock had to leave, sadly. I'm gone for that. Yeah, chair soccer was so fun. Instead of volleyball, we couldn't get um the volleyball net. We did chair soccer. It's so fun. That's sick. Yeah. And then, what else did we do? Uh, I went to a park and we played Infection, but oh, that didn't really last long. My friend and I were literally laying in the grass and then they just gave up and they never looked for us. So we just went back and they were like, yeah, they just didn't really care. So we just left. <laughs> so yeah, and then I, we just talked for a little bit and then I came home and Brock FaceTimed me, literally the perfect timing. Yep. <laughs> With his blue lights. <laughs> But yeah, these are, the, these are the LEDs that you got me. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how long ago that was. But yeah, just thought I'd end the vlog because <laughs> I know I'll forget in the morning if I decide to do it in the morning. So, good night, guys. Hopefully, night. you. Uh, I was about to say sleep well. That's usually what I say to Brock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, but make sure to subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up.
Yeah. <laughs> that was so awkward. It's just quiet. Good night, guys. See you in another video. Peace out.